So what are we looking at here? Uh, this is this is a trailing arm out of a 1990 all-wheel drive Eagle Talon. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to take this uh, piece from Jay's Racing. It's an um, active tow eliminator kit. And what it stops is the rear tires when you put a load on it from going tow in. And so that thing's a little bit bigger than the hole, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, it, won't, it won't just drop in there. It, uh, it's fit to a tight tolerance so that you know it's tight when you actually do get it in there. Right on, right on. And uh, so what came out of here? There's an old stock rubber bushing held in by one bolt. Um, it's actually it actually extends down into all the way down to the curve starts on the trailing arm, and it was just a big long bushing, and then a bolt is all that held it in place. Well, it doesn't sound as, like it's anywhere near as strong as this is. No, no, not as fun either. Right on. So we got to get this thing down in the hole, and then uh, tack weld it in place, and uh, run a bead around it, and make it a permanent part of this. And then afterwards, uh, you can be able to looks like uh, adjust the length of this control arm. Right. And um, Keep your wheels aligned under load. For tow, yes. Okay. We could try to beat this in here, but some people get away with that. And uh, if we had a bearing press, it'd be nice to be able to just cram this thing down inside of it because it looks like that would be a pretty easy job. But uh, because I have to borrow tools like that, we're going to uh, resort once again to fire. <laughs> Remember the uh, dry ice video where we were fitting the knuckles for the colt together. We uh, froze the hub and just uh, lightly tapped it in. And the temperature difference allowed the diameters of those parts that originally didn't fit to slide together easily. So the principle is here, we're going to heat up the lower control arm and after it gets hot enough, we're going to drop that bushing down in here and hopefully it's not going to fight with us too much. You just want to heat this up until the metal changes color. It's going to go gold first and then it's going to start to turn kind of black. And, and uh, when we get it an even color all the way around, we're going to give it a shot. Go ahead and drop that thing in. That's what's up. And now we just let it cool. When it cools, the, uh, the outer sleeve will shrink down and grab onto that thing. It'll be sitting where it's sitting. And uh, I'll get a close up of this. There is a lip that goes around this. It's already beveled so that we can uh, get a bead to stick in there. Um, we thought about gapping it out a little bit so there'd be a little bit more room for that to penetrate but I didn't want to take a chance at not welding the thing in perfectly straight with the rest of the part so uh, we're just going to go ahead and roll with it like that fortunately that's more of a 90 degree joint right there so it'd be real easy to stick a wire in there and get good penetration on that beveled edge but anyway I'm just going to clean that up and uh, got a fresh bottle of uh, 7525 Argon CO2. I got uh, about 1,440 pounds. We're going to throw 30 CFM at this. Let me do that. Just this on for a second. It's a regulator.
So here we go, the rear trailing arms are now bolted back up to the subframe. You saw us messing with that. And uh, this is how the J Racing Active Toe Correction Kit looks when it's uh, bolted back up on the car. You see you got the little hind joint right there. And we got a couple of pieces we're still waiting to put back on this. But I just wanted you to see these parts all reconnected now. And if these work out to help his traction and his launch and his ETs, he might see a pair of these show up on the Colt. We'll just see.